Hi family, let's look at uh, this question that came in 2022, grade 12, paper 1, and it was question 7. This is mathematics. Given that 2, negative 1, negative 4 are consecutive terms of an arithmetic progression, find the, the first part says common difference, which is D, and then B, the formula for the nth term. Okay, now the question is from a topic called sequences and series. Under sequences and series, we have two types of sequences. And these are arithmetic progression, that is one type. The other one is geometric progression, GP. So we have AP and GP. Okay, here we are dealing with the AP, arithmetic progression. Now, you have been provided with a sequence, which is, so we're going to say solution here. So, the sequence that has been given is 2, negative 1, negative 4, okay? So, these are the three consecutive terms of this AP. Now, they are saying we should find the common difference. Any sequence, any sequence that has got common difference, that type of sequence is called arithmetic progression. Any sequence with common difference, it is called arithmetic progression. How do we find this common difference? So if you are given a sequence like this, you are going to say a the common difference which is d is always equal to this is the first term second term third term so to get common difference you should always remember the way difference means subtract okay so you are going to subtract negative 1 from 2 always go the backward way. So it will be negative 1 minus 2. It should be common. Even when you say negative 4 minus negative 1, you should get the same value. It should be common. If it is not common, then that sequence is not a P. So we are going to say D for common difference is equal to negative 1. So we're going to say negative 1 here minus 2. Like this. And I said the answer that you are going to find here should be the same as saying D is equal to negative 4 minus, always minus, negative 1. The answer that we are finding here, we are going to find here, should be the same here. If it would be different, then this sequence is not T, a P. So, D will there for equal to negative 1 minus 2. It will give us negative 3. That is the answer. Negative 3. Just like that. Remember, integers, same signs, add. 1 plus 2, 3. Sign from the bigger number. It should be the same here. You try and see if you are going to get negative 3. If you are not going to get negative 3, then it will be wrong. So if you say negative 4 here, negative negative is positive. 1. Different signs, subtract. 4, take away. 1 is 3. Sign from the bigger number, negative. So you can see, we are finding the same answer. We have answered the first part. Next one, formula for the nth term. How do we find the nth term in arithmetic progression? So you should say, B, nth term in any arithmetic progression is always given by a plus 
n minus 1 in brackets d. Don't forget this formula. This is the formula for the nth term under arithmetic progression. Now, after you write this formula, you are going to substitute where there is a, which represents the first term, and also d, which is for common difference. You simplify, that will be your nth term. So we're going to say nth term is equal to, what is a? The first term, you check the sequence that has been given. So you can see that from the sequence here, the first term is 2. That is your a. So we can say our a is 2 here. Then our d we have already calculated, which is negative 3, like this. So we're going to say a here, it will be 2 plus n minus 1. Our d is negative 3. We write negative 3 like that. Then our nth term will be equal to 2. We are now going to multiply with the negative 3 here. So we're going to say positive n multiplied by negative 3 here. It will be negative 3n. Then this negative 1 multiplied by negative 3, it will be positive 3 like this. Then we are going to say our nth term will be equal to, these are like terms, 2 and 3. So we are going to say 2 plus 3 here minus 3n. Then our nth term will be equal to, 2 plus 3 will be 5 minus 3n. At this point, there is nothing you can do. That is your nth term. That is how you should be able to get the answer. Just like that. Bye-bye.